Hello, I'm Arlene Bornstein, and this is Minute with the Mayor, and we are here with our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Glad to be here. So I'm calling you our number one spring breaker. You've been on <laughs> every single network talking about how great it's been in Fort Lauderdale. Give us an update. So it really has been a good experience for Fort Lauderdale, for its residents, and of course for the visitors. Uh, once again, we're hosting a very robust spring break uh, season. Uh, and it's not just the college kids that are coming down here. Uh, our seasonal visitors and residents are here, families, children. Everyone's enjoying this paradise that we enjoy all year round. Yes. We live where we vacation. Exactly. And it's not just about fun and games, too. I think FLPD is doing something really cool on the beach trying to find new officers. So it's quite unique. And uh, what we're doing is uh, creating a situation where instead of people feeling threatened by the presence of police officers, we want to encourage people to actually be part of the police department, be part of that experience. We've gone out and tried to recruit uh, young men and women to be part of it. We've uh, several dozen applications have already been uh, submitted to us, so it's, it's working out, and it's actually a good way to try to introduce the city to people who are here to visit us. Well, we call it the city you never want to leave, right? And so. it is the city you never want to leave. So yeah. <laughs> when you graduate from college, come back to Fort Lauderdale, and this will be a place where you can start your family, build a career. It's really a great opportunity for everybody. I love it. And speaking of visitors, um, we are seeing new legislation coming out of Tallahassee about the vacation rentals. Yes. Um, and you're not so on board with some of the decisions being made. So let's talk about that. So the city of Fort Lauderdale, like many communities, uh, are suffering from the impact of vacation rentals. You know, rowdy visitors and uh, people who disrespect the neighbors. So the uh, the city of Fort Lauderdale is trying to put some restrictions on on the the use and the and the availability of vacation rentals, especially in certain neighborhoods. Unfortunately, the state legislature has tied our hands with regard to the duration, the frequency in which vacation rentals can be uh, offered. To that extent, we put together certain rules and regulations, and they've worked pretty well, actually, for, for the most part. Um, but yet the state legislature continues to try to whittle away at, uh, at these restrictions and take that power away from us, saying, well, the state will enforce it. Well, the state in Tallahassee is not going to enforce someone, you know, calling at 3 a.m., you know, saying that the, the party next door is too loud. It does, it's not going to happen. So uh, we sent the letter to, this, to the governor asking the governor to, to veto this current uh, new legislation. In fact, uh, Airbnb company also asked the governor to veto this particular legislation. It's not good. No one wants it. Uh, the status quo is something we can live with. We'd rather have more authority, but we're living with the status quo, and uh, we don't really want to see any of those um, responsibilities that we've taken on mm -hmm. to secure people's homes and neighborhoods to be taken away from us. Well, that's wonderful that you reached out to the state that way. And um, moving on to something positive, um, the War Memorial Iceplex, Baptist Hospital War Memorial Iceplex, that's pretty cool. That's coming up. It's something yes. you've worked hard to yes. make happen. So we're very, very blessed that the Panther organization has built two huge regulation ice skating rinks right here in the middle of our city in Holiday Park. It's uh, it's really exciting, uh, mainly because it's a very family-friendly uh, opportunity for people to get out there, be with their friends, be with their family. Uh, so there's one ice skating rink for practice play for the team, and right next door is another ice skating rink just for the public. And so all those northerners could dust off their skates and uh, <laughs> come on down to Fort Lauderdale because especially during the summer when you're looking for a nice, cool place to be, this will be the place to be. Fort Lauderdale is the cool place. I, there are so many things to do here yes, in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, of course. Between that, we have our aquatic center, which is open all year round for the public. Uh, for swimming and diving competition to watch, but more importantly, for everyone to be able to use. Oh, it's cool because a lot of athletes are actually coming for to train for their Olympic trials. Yes, right here. So it's amazing. We're a premier facility. The venue for swimming and diving competition is Fort Lauderdale once again. Yeah. Uh, we're very proud to be able to have that uh, label return to Fort Lauderdale. And it also brings, uh, again, a a quality visitor who you know really appreciates sports, sports enthusiasm, Absolutely. and appreciates what Fort Lauderdale has to offer. So you don't have to come just for spring break. You can come all year round, exactly. and there's going to be something to do here. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Mayor. Well, thank you so much for having You're us. You're very being welcome. Here. Thank you.